the meaning of modulus of rupture and flexural rigidity. Modulus of rupture and flexural rigidity. So let us see what is the meaning of modulus of rupture. But to understand this modulus of rupture, I will take a, a beam with some load acting on it. I will take one simply supported beam where P is the load acting on the beam. When we start applying the load, uh, there will be bending of the beam due to the applied load, correct? The bending of the beam will take due to the applied load, and we go on increasing the load at some particular magnitude of the load P, the beam will undergo rupture, the beam will undergo failure, right? Therefore, the whatever the strength or whatever the stresses measured at this particular load where the rupture of the beam will take place or the failure of the beam will take place is called as the modulus of rupture and this modulus of rupture is also called as flexural strength of the beam flexural strength it is also called as flexural strength So the modulus of rupture uh, is the strength measured or stress measured at the failure load or the stress measured at the load where the beam undergoes the rupture is called as modulus of rupture. And uh, coming to the measurement of this modulus of rupture or assessment of modulus of rupture for a beam, there are two ways of method, uh, two methods of uh, finding uh, this uh, modulus of rupture. The first one is uh, by center point loading. Center point loading. So here. The simply supported beam will be subjected to load exactly its a load at exactly its center. Okay. So L by two and L by two. If we take uh, L as total length of the beam. Okay. The beam is subjected to loading exactly at its center and the load is applied un until the beam undergoes failure and the for failure load is noted down. Okay. Failure load P is noted down and modulus of rupture is calculated as modulus of rupture or the flexural strength. of the beam for this condition is calculated as 3 PL by 2 BD square. Where P is the load at rupture or the ultimate load or the failure load and L is effective length of the beam and B and D are cross sectional dimensions. B and D are cross sectional dimensions of the beam, width and effective depth of the beam. Okay. And there is uh, one more method of finding modulus of rupture of the beam that is uh, 
third point loading test. Third point loading test. So in this, the beam which is simply supported. is divided into three parts, three equal parts, is three equal lengths. So at this point, the loading is applied. Say P by two. And P by two. OK. P by two, P by two means so uh, during the, uh, the experimentation on a beam what we'll do is so here we will apply the load p when we apply the load p it will be equally divided at these rollers okay so the Ultimately, the P by 2 and P by 2 load will be applied at both of these points. Okay, like this, the P by 2 to P by 2 load will be applied. Okay, here the span is L by 3 and L by 3 and L by 3. The beam is divided into three equal lengths. Okay, and these two middle uh, points the loading of equal intensity is applied okay and the loading is applied until the failure of the beam will take place or the rupture of the beam is beam will take place and the load p okay at which the rupture will take place is noted down and the modulus of rupture modulus of rupture is calculated by using the formula PL by BD squared. PL by BD squared. So in this way, we will calculate modulus of rupture of a beam. So this is about the modulus of rupture. Now let us see what is the meaning of flexural rigidity. Flexural rigidity, second one. Flexural rigidity. Okay. So, flexural rigidity is nothing but it is the product of modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity and moment of inertia moment of inertia okay and this modulus of elasticity is the material property and moment of inertia is the geometric property of that particular material okay so multiplication of this modulus of elasticity and the moment of inertia that is e into i is called as modulus of rigidity. Okay, it is uh, the measure of the strength of a beam for the externally applied load or uh, for uh, uh, the strength of a beam against the bending. Okay, it is a measure of strength of the beam against bending. Okay, is called as flexural rigidity, and it is uh, the product of modulus of elasticity and the moment of inertia. OK, so as this value, the product of E and I goes on increases, no? the strength of the beam to resist the bending will also increases. OK, whenever during the design and all, if you want to increase uh, the strength of the beam 
against the bending or the resistance of the beam against the bending, we will increase these parameters. Either we will increase geometry property moment of inertia or we will increase the material property or we will select a suitable material which gives increased uh, models of elasticity. Okay, to increase the resistance of the material or the resistance of the beam against the bending, uh, we will modify, uh, we will increase these properties E and I, models of elasticity and the moment of inertia. Okay, therefore the flexural rigidity is the measure of the flexural strength of the beam. Okay, coming to the unit of this flexural rigidity, we know that unit of uh, uh, Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity is Newton per mm square and unit of moment of inertia is lambda raised to 4. So finally, after simplification, uh, it will be Newton millimeter square. Or it is also expressed in terms of Newton meter square or kilo Newton meter square, whatever. Okay, this is the unit of flexural rigidity. So in this video, we have uh, learned what is the meaning of uh, modulus of rupture and how to measure the modulus of rupture value. And uh, we have also uh, understood about the flexural rigidity. Thank you.